How's it going? John Connor here with Neural DSP. And in this video, we're gonna have a quick look at what you can use the Mini Voicer for and all of its functionalities with MIDI, voices, and other fun stuff as well. The Mini Voicer, in short, allows you to have multiple voices on top of or underneath, however you wanna see it, your main dry guitar signal. And to add the Mini Voicer, you would tap an empty space on the grid, go down to pitch, and then in those devices, see Mini Voicer. Opening up the Mini Voicer, you can see there are two pages of parameters. On the first page, we start off with a general mix. I've set this to 50%, so this means that there's an even split between my dry guitar signal and then the two voices underneath it. After that, we then have voice one and voice two active controls independently, because you may just want a singular voice or two voices on top of your guitar signal. So there's an option for that as well. Uh, and then, as well as that, you have an independent level, uh, interval, and a pan control for each of these voices. And on top of this, you can choose to quantize the pitches of the voices to absolute values, so they snap to pitches instead of just going in between them freely. Moving on to page two, you'll see that we have a root control, so that will allow you to choose the root note of the key you're in. And then, relating to that, you can also choose the mode of minor, major, or also chromatic. And as there's no key center, when you're using this chromatic mode, you can't choose a root. Moving on, you can then choose a specific hertz for your tuning if you want, as well as uh, altering the high pass and low pass of the voices. So this controls the mini voice at high pass and low pass, not your guitar. So you can choose to control the high or low end if you wish. And then finally, and we're gonna go through this in a second, you can choose to use MIDI using an external device like a laptop, uh, where you can toggle that on or off to read MIDI information externally. And then finally, we've got a glissando control so that the voices can glide between notes if you wish as well. In the intro to this video, you heard the mini voicer using its MIDI functionality with the two voices underneath my playing getting triggered by a MIDI region within Logic. Now, we're gonna go over this and how you set it up and get it working with QC. When setting up this mini voicer to use MIDI, you can use any DAW of your choice as long as it can have an external MIDI channel. And within Logic, I've done that here, and you can see here this MIDI chords channel with a region of MIDI chords. And within that region, because the mini voicer can do two voices at a single time, I've split these chords into just the root and third of the chord, or any two notes of the chord will do. It doesn't matter, you can choose that. And what I'm gonna do now is demonstrate the information that this MIDI region is sending to the mini voicer. So I'm gonna set the mix of the mini voicer to 100%, so you're just hearing the voices that are being triggered by the laptop. So you'll see also when you engage MIDI on the QC from off to on, you can't choose the mode or the semitones on the first page of parameters. And that's because the region is dictating the notes that the mini voicer plays. So all you have to do is just play on top of it. And in terms of setting all this up with routing, all you'd need is an interface connected to your laptop that has a MIDI out. And then with one MIDI cable, you'd go from that MIDI out from the interface into the QC's MIDI in, and that's how the QC reads the region within your computer. And then alternatively, if you're using the QC as an interface via USB, it can read MIDI information through that as well. So that's just one single cable, the USB from the QC into the computer, and that's all you'd need for that. So now we know how all that works, let's just play through that again. And if you want to use the mini voicer just by itself without MIDI, that's perfectly doable as well. All you do is go into page two of the parameters and turn the MIDI option off. And now you can see the root and modes are now interchangeable, so you can choose whatever you want. I'm going to keep it in F minor, and then on page one, I'm going to, for voice one, choose the interval as a third. So this is going to do a minor third above my dry signal in F minor. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's just one voice. So let's add another voice in. So on voice two, I'm gonna turn that on. And then for this, I could go below as well, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go above and choose a fifth above my root. So now I've got my root that I'm playing, the third above that, and then the fifth on top of that. So three voices in total. And here's how that sounds. <laughs> And just in terms of creative possibilities with this mini voice, so what you can do is turn the mix all the way up so you're just hearing the voices on top of your dry signal without the dry signal. So what I'm gonna do is turn the mix all the way up to 100 and here are the two voices without my guitar. So as you can see, this is a really fun new addition to the device list within the QC. This update is available to download now. It's Core OS 1.4.0, so you can download it now and have some fun with it in your own unit as well. So, thanks for watching. I've been John Connor.